comments. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. Be sure to leave a comment or question for me in the comment section below. Enjoy this video and remember to always, always, always do what you love. So welcome, I'm Tita Tala, also known as Chef Tala. I'm a chef in Washington, D.C. So today I'm gonna to be making for you guys lumpia, which is the Filipino spring rolls. So I'm gonna be using um, ground turkey, but you can also use um, ground beef, you can use ground chicken, you can use uh, whatever ground meat you like. I've used beef, chicken, and turkey, and they're all really good. So that's I'm making turkey today. So my ground turkey is right here. So I have about one pound of ground turkey in here from the package. And for those of you who are making the lumpia, please turn your oil on, on low, because once I'm done demoing, I'm going to fry it. So I'm going to move my oil one second back to the burner. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ingredients. So I have my shredded carrots. You can also use the food processor and you can dice the carrots up in the food processor, but I'm using shredded. And then I have my garlic right here. I minced about four or five cloves of garlic. I have a garlic press, so it's much easier to do it with a garlic press than a knife. And then I have um, green onions, which I reused my old green onions that I had before. And I just cut the ends off and I had them on my window and I regrow them. So this is the one that I regrew. They were really tall. So I'm just gonna put those in here like so. So it should look like this right now. And then you want um, salt and pepper for flavor. The garlic gives it flavor, but salt and pepper will give it a little more flavor. So like this, so. And then lastly, you want to crack an egg. The egg will bind all the ingredients together. So you crack that egg. And then I'm going to start mixing. So I'm wearing gloves here so my hands don't get dirty. So I'm mixing it all up together. It smells really good, like the garlic and the onions. And this is what it looks like after it's mixed up. So I'm gonna change my gloves. One second. And then I'm gonna show you how I wrap it. And then we're gonna fry it. So for my wrappers, I like to use these ones. They come in the red and yellow package. They're called spring roll wrappers. So that's just what I use when I wrap mine. And also I like to cover it with a damp cloth so that the wrappers don't dry out because when they're dry, they're not very good to work with because they'll break. So. I'm just gonna roll one for you. And my mom always taught me you want it to be like a thumb's length, a thumb's width worth of um, meat inside. So you want the egg roll, the lumpia to be like this size. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Usually I use like a, if you wanna measure it with something, you can use like a tablespoon and put a tablespoon of mixture and just spread it out as you like onto the wrapper here. So I might use a little bit more. So I do this. Before you finish rolling, you make sure you have one egg that's beaten inside here with a brush so you can brush the end of it to close it. So I'm gonna start rolling. So basically this is the easy way. You just take it, you roll it over once then you want to push it back towards you so it's tight. You want it to be very tight so when you fry it, it doesn't burst, but make sure you don't rip the wrapper. So you want to be gentle while you're rolling. So you just, every time you roll, you squeeze it back so it's tight. Then you roll again, then you squeeze it back. Then you roll again, you squeeze it back. Every time you roll, you squeeze. And make sure it's packed tightly inside. And then once you get to the end, 
you're gonna want to use that egg wash you just want to line it up across like this and then you're just gonna keep rolling and then you're going to have it like this and then I'm going to show you how I fry it I have my oil already hot so we're gonna move to the stove and when we're done I usually eat mine with sweet chili sauce or rice wine vinegar so that's what I have here so I'm gonna take my laptop to the stove and show you the next step you can add it mm -hmm. um. So, we are at my stove here. I have my oil going right here. It's bubbling, so I know it's ready. So I just I usually cut mine in three pieces, but you can cut it in two. If you want a bigger piece, but I usually cut mine in three even pieces, like that. So I'm just gonna drop them in my oil. And if you're using brand new oil, it won't come out as golden brown as you want it, but you want it to be golden brown. So as you see, I have it going right here in my pot. So I'm turning it up so a little faster. And you also wanna, when you take it out, you want it to be like in a container with something with like paper towel lines so that it will soak up the grease and the lumpia will stay crispy. So I have mine going. You can see, I'll lower this down. It's going slowly. Cooking on that. You want to make sure it's golden brown and all the way cooked in the middle since the meat is raw and there's raw eggs in there. We're going to have them in here so they're going to um, soak up and still stay crispy. Oil is going to soak up in there. Yeah. Can and you show me again your lumpia, please? This is my lumpia.